Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Jos Appelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. This week we get to see the Top 3 of Nick Stewart. Nick takes a very special place in our series because the main passion is not found in pens, but ink. Many of you will know his beautiful swatches which he creates using fountain pen ink and a tiny bit of bleach. He also makes amazing artworks where he uses the specific qualities of an ink to bring out all its colors. To make his art he uses a lot of pens, including fountain pens. So let's find out what the three favorite pens of this artist are. Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to my top three pens. By way of introduction, I'm not a collector of fountain pens as such. I'm a collector of fountain pen ink. And for the last five years, I've been involved with a personal project, exploring their unique behaviors and properties and utilizing them in my own artwork. Regardless of the scale of which I'm working, I still use brushes and I use a lot of pens, including fountain pens. The first pen in my top three is made by Noodlers. It's called a Creeper pen and it retails in the UK for approximately £13. The pen is made of a transparent plastic and it is a piston film, which means that I have mine always screwed down so the chamber is closed because I don't want any ink in there because I use this as a dip pen only. Now the amazing thing about this pen is its quality of flex nib. Now the nib may be small, but the variety of line width that you can achieve is quite amazing. From hairline to up to two millimeters in width. The Creeper pen is not only perfect for the fine detailing in some of my illustrative art, it also appears to be ideal for writing with bleach. And as you can see from this particular image, the effect is quite mesmerizing. The next pen in my top three is the Serendipity. This is another dip pen. It's a hybrid pen. It was sent to me by Robert Oster of the Ink Fame. It's manufactured in Australia, retails around about $80 and it's available from Pensive Pens. The thing about it, it's got this massive feed on it, which is through capillary action, draws up the ink from any sample vials. Um, it's very easy to uh, utilize and to wash out. So if I've got lots of sampling to do, this is the perfect instrument for me, as it makes life very, very easy. It takes a size six nib, so you have a choice of what you can put in there. I'm currently running a Noodler's Ahab nib. As you can see, the action is very, very, very smooth. And as I said, um, if I'm having to do some lettering sampling, just to see how some ink looks over a complete page, I can and I have achieved a whole A4 page of lettering just with one dip. So there you have it, an excellent pen. My final pen is a Cowico Aluminium Carbon Sport and I've got this in a, a racing orange finish. Um, it cost me around about 110 pounds and is by far the most expensive fountain pen that I own. And you'll be relieved to know that I do not use this pen for art. Coincidentally, it is the same orange color as the orange I use in my corporate identity. And it's the perfect prop to take to a client meeting as everyone looks at it. It does look great, doesn't it? This pen comes with a standard stainless steel black nib unit, which I have swapped out for a gold one, as I prefer a softer nib to write with. This particular pen is an absolute joy to write with. Many thanks to Apple Boom for asking me to talk about my three pens. If you'd like to know anything further about how to create lovely art using fountain pen ink, my website address is www nickstuart.inc and from there you can link to my social media sites and youtube channel thanks for watching hopefully catch up with you soon